Hi, this is Fiona welcoming you back to Stay At Home Print Club. For this week's session, I have raided the recycling bin and my makeup cupboard. So the materials that we're going to be using today, as I said, have come from the, the recycling box. I've got a juice carton, a milk carton and an old uh, CD for those of you who remember what they are. And the, the kind of interesting ingredient, I guess, in this uh, process today, some old lipsticks. And these are going to actually replace um, the ink that we would be using if we were in the studio. I've got some etching tools that I've cobbled up. So that's a, a sewing needle that's been stuck into a cork. Anything else that you can find around about the house that you can make a scratch into the paper, the plastic or the CD. And some other things that we're going to be using are just little bits of card. I've got some sandpaper, an emery board and a teaspoon. And we've also got some paper that's been pre-dampened in a little bag and we're going to use that uh, to print with later. So I've got some plates of, of almost finished making here. This is the one out of uh, the juice carton, the milk bottle and the disc which I've cut in half really for the purposes of uh, today's demonstration to keep things small. We're just going to draw into the, the plate this is the, the CD, I'm just going to finish doing some detail on here. And when you're drawing with this, if you if you feel rub it with your finger, you should feel a slight burr and that means it's going to hold the ink. The same process with the cardboard and these little areas here I've actually scored like this. And then I'm going to lift them out because they're going to give a little bit of tone to the piece. I've chosen lips because I'm working with lipstick and I thought that would just give it a little bit of fun. This is the milk bottle that I've drawn into already, but I'm also going to add some texture just by prodding it and pricking it with the sharp tool. And again, that'll add some tone and texture to this. These are different techniques that you can play about with. You can also use a piece of emery board or a piece of sandpaper and just gently rub the plate, you can hear that scratching nicely and then just rub, rub the excess off. That'll give us some nice tones as well as the linear work. Now we're going to ink up using the lipsticks. So I'm going to use, I've got three slightly different colours. I'm just going to push some of the, the sort of brownie lipstick into this one. So we're going to use a different one on each uh, plate. Just rub a bit over each one like this. And then I'm going to take these small bits of card and this is just to make sure that the lipstick goes into all the grooves. So we want to push all of the ink, well the lipstick actually, into the, the grooves like so. I'm just turning the card over each time so that I'm getting a clean edge. And once we've done that, we're ready for the next part of the process. So now we need to clean the excess lipstick off the plate. And I've just got some little bits of scrap fabric made into a little wad and just some gentle circular movement so that it's cleaned off the surface of the plate, your printing plate, but without removing it from the lines. And with this one, I'm just going to use my fingertip because I want to clean as much of the lipstick off the teeth so that they're, they're a bit distinct from the lips and then round the edges there. But now we're getting ready for printing. I've got some pre-dampened bits of paper, thick cartridge paper or something out of a sketchbook. So these have just been dampened down with a sponge, layered together and stuck inside a plastic bag. And they're just about ready for printing now because they've been left for about 15 minutes. I'm going to put the damp paper on top of our CD. I've got it inside a soft cloth so it can protect the paper because we're going to be applying a lot of pressure with the back of a, a teaspoon or a dessert spoon, soup spoon, whatever your uh, preference might be. We're just going to rub really hard continuously 
till we think our print is ready and then keep rub rubbing if it's not ready. So the process for printing as of the CD is the same for the little cardboard piece and the piece out of the milk carton. And these are the, the three prints here. They're small just for the purposes of demonstrating. Hopefully we'll, you'll be able to show us some of the work that you're making. And again, there'll be information at the end of the little film um, how you can share that with us. Thank you very much and look forward to presenting another one that's part of this series. Thank you.